All life is related. All life is related. All living things are related to one another. All living things are related. All life on Earth is related. All life on Earth is related. All life on Earth comes from a common origin. All animals are related by ancestry. Show that all known life is related and descended from a common ancestral state. All living things on Earth are related. They descended from a common ancestor. All life as we know it is descended from a common ancestor. Common descent, meaning that all living organisms can be traced back to a single common ancestor. All life forms evolved from a common ancestor through branching lineages. The common ancestor of all life on Earth. And that was a single-celled organism four billion years ago. All life came from a, a last universal common ancestor, all life that we know about on the planet today. I mean, all life we know now comes from one common ancestor. That means, in theory, you could trace your way from child to parent to connect even the most distant of evolutionary cousins. To a single common ancestor. All modern animals share a common ancestor, a single species whose descendants evolved over time to give rise to the wide diversity we see today. All life is descended from a single common organism. Every living thing on this planet is related to every other living thing. Evidence from fossils and DNA have shown us that all living things are related. If you go far enough back, we all have a common ancestor, an organism that both you and I are descended from. Thousands of observable facts from completely independent fields of study have come together to tell us the exact same story. All living things on Earth are related or something that a starfish and a blue whale are both descended from, or even weirder, that an oak tree and a salmon are both descended from. All life is derived from a common ancestor. That organism lived. It lived very long ago, but it was here. All species of life have descended over time from common ancestors. The most recent common ancestor of all animal life. A single kind of common ancestor to all of modern life. And this is the common ancestor, the common ancestor of life that gave rise to all life on Earth today. That's the organism from which all life on Earth was descended, or maybe a community of organisms. Species were related to each other and not separately created. All living things on Earth are related. They evolved from a common ancestor. All living things are related to each other. The tree of life describes how all living things are related. All living things, me, you, pufferfish, banana trees, if you go back far enough, also share a common ancestor. We are literally related. All life on Earth has DNA, which is one of the reasons we know that all living things on Earth, from farmers to fish, from moles to microbes, have a common ancestor. It's why you share 98.4% of your DNA with a chimpanzee, and why you share nearly half of your DNA with the banana that it likes to eat. The last universal common ancestor of life lived on the order of over three billion years ago. Every living thing on Earth is descended from a single organism. Biologists call that organism LUCA, which stands for the last universal common ancestor. And its descendants today are mostly single-celled organisms. Yeah. They outnumber all of us multicellular creatures. They were the very first life on Earth and they gave rise to every one of the billions of species that have inhabited our planet since. But its descendants also include plants and fungi, and then all of the animals that we've been looking at. Yeah. All life on Earth. Every single thing. It tells you how everything's related. So at the center of this diagram, there is the last universal common ancestor, the thing, the organism from which all of us are, are evolved from. So bacteria and everything else came from one individual um, common ancestor. If you trace all the branches on the tree of life backward, you realize that they all come from the same trunk. That initial point before anything branches is a single species, the first species. The last universal common ancestor of life, or LUCA for short. LUCA wasn't the first life form, but it's as far back as we can trace. Now, this was not the first cell. This was just the last cell that gave rise to everything that's uh, living today. And it was already very complex. It already had ribosomes. It already had DNA. It already had most of the components of central metabolism, including, for example, all of the enzymes involved in glycolysis. The last universal common ancestor about five billion years ago. The uh, common ancestor on this diagram is indicated with the green circle. And it's finally called LUCA, which stands for the last universal common ancestor. Scientists call it the last universal common ancestor, or LUCA. 
Luca isn't the first to have lived. Instead, it's the common ancestor of everything that's alive today. It's the ancestor of everything we know. The sequence similarity among ribosomal RNA uh, for bacteria, for archaea, and for eukaryotes. Scientists identified genes that are commonly found in species across all three domains of life that exist today. Since these genes are shared across species and domains, they must have been inherited from a common ancestor. And the fact that it is possible to arrange all of the known living cells on Earth in this sort of uh, tree where everything looks related to everything else is uh, a very good indication that, in fact, all of the ribosomal RNAs that exist in cells on the modern Earth all came from some common ancestor back at some distant point in the past. The DNA code of all living things alive today is the same. And that is too improbable to have come about unless we have an ancestor. We're all descended from one remote ancestor which lived probably between three and four thousand million years ago, and we are therefore all cousins. Darwin has shown us that we are not apart from the natural world. We do not have dominion over it. We are subject to its laws and processes, as are all other animals on Earth, to which indeed we are related. <laughs>